Enjoy your meeting. Hi there, and welcome to this brief podcast on getting started with analytics. I'm Helen Brown, head of the Helen Brown Group, which is a full-service prospect research consulting company based in Watertown, Massachusetts. If you've been following our company blog for the last month or so, you know that we've been focusing on data analytics and what a powerful tool it can be to benefit fundraising. But in recent conversations, several people have mentioned to me that they don't think that they're anywhere near ready to use analytics, either because their databases are a mess or they don't have enough data, or they just think it's too intimidating to get started. They don't know where to start. But anybody who's done an analytics study can tell you that there are lots of great reasons to try it. It can help your shop be more efficient, help you identify new qualified prospects, do a better job with the prospects that you already have, and work more efficiently as a team. And you don't even have to do big, elaborate, expensive projects to get useful, actionable information. You don't even need a robust database with tons of different fields. All you need to get started, really, are 16 fields, and I bet you already have them. The first five are all about who they are. What's their name, their gender, their marital status? If you don't have those last two, that's just fine. But it is useful information to start thinking about gathering if you're not already. The next group is all about where your constituent is. These four points are important, and if you have them, you also might want to think about adding another field just to indicate that, yes, we do have a home address, or no, we don't have a home address. That will help you begin to pull lists to know where you have gaps that are fairly easy to fill. This next group is all about when they first became known to you and what they are to you. Are they an alumna, a member, a patient, a parent, a vendor? When do they arrive in your database? And has their primary connection to you changed over time? For example, have they gone from being an alumnus to a parent or a member to a trustee? The final group has to do with their giving. When did they become a donor and how much have they given over time? With just these factors, you can find out which of your donors are most loyal which have increased their giving over time. And if there are patterns to the kinds of people who fit your most loyal or increasingly passionate giving groups, you can find out which regions to concentrate your valuable travel dollars on and how long it generally takes for a person to go from non-donor to major donor. If you throw in things like event attendance or a constituent's business industry code, you'll really be rocking. So don't be afraid to try analytics. And if you need help, we're here. With just 16 basic data points, you'll be well on your way to discovering new ways to find new donors. Thanks so much for watching this.